this is uh, Srikanth Sare. So in this lesson, uh, we are going to look into the statement uh, which is very uh, quite commonly used in all Java programs, which is uh, system dot out dot print ln. Okay. So why in the world uh, we need to write uh, this much lengthy statement uh, to print just to print uh, some uh, string or some text to the output uh, screen? And when coming to uh, C, we have a printf uh, equivalent to this. In C, we have a printf. In C++, we have uh, C out, something like this. Okay, in other languages, uh, so many languages have so many uh, things equivalent to that. They are they are all quite easy, and length, uh, not that length uh, lengthy syntax we have as in uh, Java. So the reason uh, we need to study and understand why we have to write something like this. Okay, so before understanding that, uh, let me take a small class here. I have written uh, two small programs. One is class test. And I have declared a static variable of type uh, string, a string variable of type static, and I have assigned some value here. And here, the actual uh, system dot out dot println uh, structure I have written here. Uh, we, we know that system is a class. Okay, system is a class, and within that class, uh, print stream uh, out is an object. Uh, print stream object of type static okay so for this reason uh, if you want to access uh, this one uh, test is a is a class okay so test is a class name is a string variable of type of type static okay so if you are uh, if you recollect uh, the knowledge of your uh, static variables if you declare a variable as static and you can directly access that static with the class name so that's what we did here okay so this name variable which is of type string is declared with static modifier and you can access that name variable directly with the name of the class okay and if you want to uh, and if you are uh, declaring a string there are some uh, interlying uh, methods are associated with that string and those uh, if you want to access that uh, the, the method you can use the, with the dot operator you can access that method okay method which lies within the string class okay so it is a method within the string class okay within the string class coming to the uh, coming to here in our uh, uh, example system dot out dot print and likewise system is a class okay so if anyone asks you what is system what is out and what is println and why we have to write like this system is a it is a class okay it is a class somewhere defined somewhere defined in lang package somewhere defined in lang package okay somewhere defined in the lang package okay so what is an out is an object and you need to say out is an object out is an object of print stream of print stream class of static type which is of type static okay that's the reason it is declared as static and using with the help of the class name directly you can access the out object okay so println is a method okay println is a method println is a method within the print stream class okay so if anyone asks you comparatively if you uh, observe these two programs are quite similar we are declaring a variable of type string with a static modifier and if you want to access uh, uh, some methods within that uh, string class you need to follow this terminology here okay so since it is declared as static you can use uh, you can use the class name test dot name dot length here likewise our out is an object within the system class of type static for this reason we are accessing we are accessing the out uh, out object directly with the name of the class here and println is a method within the print stream is a method which is defined within the print stream class we defined within the print stream class okay so system dot out dot print ln if anyone asks you you need to tell like this system is a class out is an object of type print stream which is declared as static and print ln is a method defined inside the print stream class okay